Okay, I will let him know. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, just got off the phone with Othello Akram's assistant, and, uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. Well, we gotta go back here and talk to these people again. Let's talk yet again. Hey, Olive. MP, how are you? Well, I can't complain. I'm a little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akpem today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akpem? Yeah, well, you, you... You've been working here for some time, you know? Oh, I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. Yeah. I'm sure you're gonna be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool, thank you, but, uh, okay. So, what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people. I'm not psychic. I, it's it's kind of the same difference, a little bit. It's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you gonna be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um... Same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. MP, come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves, <laughs> it's the Ock Pim. What'd I tell you about that? Otella, please. I'm in my bag, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we'd take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie? Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative... You're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the start. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you, but if you ever want to talk, or if Freddy gives you a hard time, whatever, my door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpen. Othella. Don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. Right. See you, Coach. See ya. <laughs> Sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. All right, have a great one. Yo, you, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othello. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? Man, I'm all over it. So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy tell me one thing, and the other I have Othello basically forbidding me to talk to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbid you? Well, not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you over the fans, I'm all for. It is my thing, it's a great idea, it's well-researched. But Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Look, I don't wanna make the coaching staff angry. That's not gonna happen, all right? So what's the plan, man? <laughs> well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry, that's palace all. Palace entry? All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, 
For better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. Mmm, okay. Well, like I said, I I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good, that's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpim thinking that Freddy's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, that was my read, too, but... I mean, that don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it... Phil's legacy is tied to you. Which means that Freddy's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. You gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer is trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all I'm saying is you just gotta... You gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now <laughs> at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's funny, man. <laughs> Look, all this means is that we gotta be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, mm -hmm. Let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow play, oh, exactly. All right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. Keep Othello and Freddy happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can... <laughs> it's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Well, Mila and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there, I'm your guy, Okay, Let's okay, I get it. <laughs> Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you, win some games maybe, and we're gonna be golden. Win some games? I'm just saying. Hey, that ain't no issue. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be. All right, then. <laughs> all right, get out there, man. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode... Four, I think this is where we're starting off right after episode three. We're gonna get into the SIGs and try to get some better uh animations because these default animations are not eight. Yeah, these are the SIGs that we're gonna use. I don't think I'm going to change anything else, really. Um, so, yeah, these are the SIGs. Uh, if you guys want to pause and copy them for whatever reason, there you go. Those are my SIGs. And, um, we're going to we're gonna upgrade our attributes a little bit more, because why not? I think I, I don't want to max out my three yet. I really don't have to. Um, I think I'm just going to upgrade all the little stuff, because... It doesn't really cost that much, so might as well just upgrade all the little things. And we're gonna try to save about 20 KVC and 22. Um, let's just max out our speed. Why not? All right, we should have about 20k ish. All right, yeah, we're at 20k. We're at, we're at 77 overall now, so we're chilling. And uh, yeah, let's get into our next NBA game. These are the stats that we have. We have a, we have an 83 pointer, so hopefully we'll be able to like hit something at least. And uh, yeah, let's get into the game. Okay, there we go. We got our immersion. Let's get it. We're playing up against the Memphis Grizzlies. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just, they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still go, go, early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. Bro, it's only one game into the season, bro. One game into the season, and they're saying this. You know what? Let, let's just try to hit 10 points. Because we only scored two last game. Then when he passes to MP. 
Hit me with that screen. Pull up. Come on. Let's go. First three. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Wood, a screen on Jones. Fires Pull up. Three. Come on. It's too easy. It's too easy, bro. When you hang around him, Brooks sees the man break open and hits him. And here's the Luka, money. Oh, my. Yo. He's the he wants, bro. It's that simple. The Grizzlies have got it is what it is. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to lose this game. Oh, my. Give me that steal. I didn't do anything. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown. Oh, yeah. Know what time it is? Come set that screen. Come set that screen. Will they step up? No, they won't. Come on, bro. It's, it's too easy, bro. It's too easy right now. All right, bro. Just, just give me the ball, bro. Just give me the ball, bro. I got this. I got this, bro. If I gotta carry, I'ma carry, bro. Very young Grizzlies team. I'm thinking that playoff experience last year was invaluable, Smitty. No, bro. They're, they're, bro, they're, they're just letting Ja go off, bro. Every time Ja touches the ball, it's an open dunk. Every time. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And for that game against the Pelicans, this one will serve as a measuring stick for them. Facing off against the top team in the West, no room for error. They'll have to take care of the basketball and hit tough shots. And now let's talk about the first half we just watched. A fantastic performance for the Mavericks. Coach has to be loving the all-around production. Each guy carrying his weight. That's a luxury to have, and it's fun to watch. Yeah, total team effort tonight. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. Then there's Josh Green, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard yes, sir. position. That's the lineup oh, in I'm the game for Dallas. We're back. From deep, MP gets the three ball to go. Thomas has got 15 points. A really defender in a number of ways. Morant is truly a dynamic scorer. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Finally. Deep MP. It's good. Thank He's you. six for 12 from the floor. How about Watch them get the ball right back. Okay. Hit me. I'm open. Now down to Luka. The turnaround. Oh, and, and so Dallas takes this that's one the the game. big margin. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. Hey, the other me. just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us. Okay, that was that was kind of a, a I had a good game. I started off hot, then eventually I got cold because I kept shooting dumb shots, trying to score 30 points. But yeah, standstill three, six for ten, not bad. Mid-range shots, I couldn't hit anything in the post for whatever reason because I just can't time my post fade. But uh, yeah, decent game, 18 points. We got our attribute upgrade, our attribute cap. Okay, let's see. Let's see if anybody wants to talk to us back here. They probably do because I had a, I had a better game tonight. And we got the win. So I know for a fact they want to talk to us. If they don't, then it's kind of weird, not going to lie. But yeah, she's standing next to the door, so I assume they want to talk to me. What up, Ash? Press? No. Uh, I got to show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? That, that Nokia joint? No, 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 no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. <laughs>
Major pose. <laughs> Mr. Point. <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually, they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she is very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, uh, what? Why can't you be more of a leader <laughs> like MP? <laughs> why are you gonna now. be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> P? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, that's good. But you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh, <laughs> all these NBA right. players. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. <laughs> Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Chef, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say... Your game's trash, mm, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And mm. the next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Is he Shep? Does he need a reason? Yeah, no, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow, and they are absolutely gonna wanna ask about this given yeah, how I inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal, but we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here, and we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you. It's literally what you pay me to do. But yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, well, that was pretty interesting. We're getting a lot of uh, social media posts and whatnot. Wow, our phone is really blowing up. Our character's phone is really blowing up right now. But oh, uh, yeah. That's been it for episode four. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later with episode five, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's, yo. What's good with you, yo? Why, why you following me, G? Why you following me, yo? Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep it pushing. But yeah, that's, that's been it. That's been it for episode four. I'll see you guys in episode five. Peace.